everyone welcome to another plan with me video today is my may bullet journal set up for 2023 the warm weather is here it's sunnier here in the country i hope the weather where you are is getting better too so let's talk about this month's theme we're doing something a bit different than my usual cozy type of themes and i'm actually going to be using gouache for the setup illustrations it's been quite a while so let's start mixing the colors that i'm gonna be using which in the next few minutes will be changed and i will show you why so here are five gouache paints that i'll mainly use to mix a dreamy holographic color palette i wanted to have a yellow green blue green bluish purple purple and blue and as you can see, they're very saturated and I didn't realize it prior to painting, I didn't swatch them either. So this was my first attempt for my cover page. You can actually see how vibrant they are and were too much for my liking or not the end result that I was trying to achieve. Though I tried to mix the whole thing by adding layers of white gouache to mute them, in the end I decided to just start all over again on a separate watercolor paper and I'm glad I did. So let's do the second attempt in painting this dreamy swans on a pond. I taped this 200 GSM watercolor paper on another page in my notebook. I realized this was better for me instead of taping it on my table so I can move it around especially when I'm filming it. And here are my new set of colors. I basically just added more white to each of the previous ones so they look more like pastel colors and also made the previous blue violet into lilac and the purple into pink by adding some more red in the mix i started painting the water surface with this pastel blue green and i'm doing curvy strokes kind of following a circular shape i'm doing this one color at a time but i'm making the light blue green and light blue more prominent than the rest of the colors You might be wondering why there are lilac and pink here. It is because I'm supposed to paint wisteria flowers above the swans, so these colors would be the reflection, but I wasn't able to do it in the end, though I still like having them on the water painting. So we started with strokes of blue-green, blue, lilac, and a bit of yellow-green. Then it's time to slowly and gently blend these colors. Make your brush a bit damped with a lighter consistency of one of the colors. For example, if you're blending blue, green, and blue, you can pick up either of them and also have a light pressure on your hand. I recommend cleaning your brush every now and then so it doesn't look too messy like I did in the first attempt. Okay, that was rhyming. <laughs> But when I'm satisfied with the blend, I just added some more of the yellow, green, and pink for a bit more dreamy look as well as the shadows under the swans. And yes, I totally forgot the subtle reflections of the swans here too, so forgive me about that. <laughs> I'm adding white and yellow curvy highlights to also emphasize the ripples or motion of the water as well as sparkles all around. Like I said, I was thinking to paint wisteria flowers on the top left so I skipped painting the sparkles on that area which I also didn't end up doing because I felt like I already spent so much time painting this cover page 
but I filled them with sparkles later on. Now we can focus on painting the swans. They are always such peaceful birds. We will paint two of them here with one facing forward and the other facing left. I painted the base of their bodies with white and also made the pointy ends a bit smudgy. That way it looks more natural. I mixed yellow, red, and a little bit of black for the beak and then black for their eyes and the area in between using a small brush. The body or the feathers won't be purely white, but we will just apply the color reflections from the water to the neck and the feathers by diluting each color with water so it has this very light or watercolor-like consistency, so it's easier to add and blend the strokes with the white base. And that's also what I like about gouache, it's versatile, they can be opaque and transparent as you want to achieve the effect you like for your painting. Now our cover page is finally done, we can remove the masking tapes and cut the white borders out. Then let's go back to the page of my first attempt and I hope you can see the difference. It's definitely much better now, so I glued that on top of this and moved on to the next to create a quote page. I cut out this peach colored paper in the same size as our cover painting. Then I'm writing our May title in this cursive lettering style using a black brush pen. As usual, the words I'm writing here are from the scripture. I love the psalm in chapter 104 verse 24. I've been living inside my head and now I just really became more present and going outside more again to appreciate nature, just observing them and breathing the fresh air, how wonderful all these things are and always thanking the Lord for another day. I remember climbing a hill alone in high school. I think it's almost outside the premises of our school. I was just there, feeling the wind on my face and looking at the mountains as far as my eyes could see. I had a main character moment. <laughs> it was so weird yet brave of me, but it was a great experience. I don't know if I told anyone about it back then. <laughs> But to finish off this page, I added these ripped blue-green paper and scribble washi tape and some stickers on the middle. And that's finally it for my quote and cover spread. Let's flip to the next one. I'm ripping this peach paper to glue on both corners of the spread. On the page to the left will be for my goals and focus. Creating my goals and focus in the first few pages of my monthly setup always work best for me since it's a useful guide for what I like to accomplish and to slowly achieve a bigger goal. I will work on two small goals for May, and I decided to divide them in the first half and second half of the month. This may feel like limiting my time from a whole month into more or less 15 days for each goal to accomplish, but we will see how it goes. And then I'll just have this space on the bottom part for my monthly focus. And then on the page to the right will be a simple calendar layout with rows of black lines and muted color backgrounds for the days and dates using these green and pink cream color highlighters. I've been really loving these pens recently, especially during this spring months. The shades are just perfect for the season. But then it's time to paint the illustrations for this spread. I decided to paint these little purple flowers and branches of leaves on the left side. I started with the darker shade of purple on the inner petals 
and then the lighter shade on the tips and blending them afterwards. I thought the inner petals were not dark enough, so I went over them again with a darker shade than the first application. And next is the center of the flowers with bright yellow paint. Below will be another swan in a pond, starting with the water surface again. And likewise, we're using the same colors and doing the same technique by painting one color at a time and slowly blending them together. Remember to blend two colors at a time as well so they don't appear muddy in the end. Since I've been using different medias alternately in my bullet journal, Sometimes I mindlessly apply the technique I used with the previous paint medium. So in April, I used watercolors and then when I switch back to gouache, I find myself adding more water to the paint. And that is also what happened in the first cover page attempt. <laughs> Focusing in one medium can improve your skills a lot in a period of time with constant practicing. But being a mixed media artist is great too. You can explore a lot with new materials and giving you more idea with how to use them. But nevertheless, what's important is you are having fun and you're learning along the process. At this point, we have painted the water and the base for a couple of lily pads, but we will finish that later. For now, we are focusing on a swan spreading its wings. We also painted the colors of the water reflecting on the feathers and this time we're getting a bit detailed here, especially on the wings by painting thin lines using a very light brown color to add some structure. Then I went back to the lily pads to finish them off by adding the veins and the highlights. We will have another illustration on top of the calendar and it will be just a bunch of the same purple flowers and branches of leaves. And that completes my monthly goals, focus, and calendar. It's time to move on again to the next spread. I added this thick peach paper border on the left and I'm writing the title into the word on top of it vertically. And since gouache can be painted in wide variety of surfaces, and technically I doubled the weight of this part of the page, so I thought I could paint on it while maintaining the opacity and not too watery. So I went on and painted some more purple flowers here as a little decoration to it since I won't be adding anything else to the rest of this page. As you may have known, I've been using this type of spread for my Bible devotional plan using the YouVersion app. This month, I pre-saved this plan called A Faith That Works When Life Doesn't Part 1 for 14 Days, so I'm dedicating 7 pages. 
and I'm actually taking several more pages for this layout since I end up writing a lot in here in my previous monthly devotional spread. And I also have more pages left in this notebook anyway before migrating into a new bullet journal in the second half of the year. Then I cut out four dot spaces each, so the title and the little painting kind of show through while flipping the pages. Next to these pages will be my habit tracker. I glued the same beach paper but a thinner one on the side and wrote the habits title on top. I divided the page into these six mini calendar layout for the trackers. I simply used black pens, specifically 03 and 005 nibs, but I don't really see much difference, <laughs> and a muted pink background for the habits themselves. We have a space left over here and I wanted to paint another swans on pond or lake and I'm pretty much doing the same technique except for the direction of the water strokes. Instead of the curvy ones, I just painted them in a linear way and blended them like so. We have two swans again that are facing the same direction. There's our white base again and just adding the tints of the same colors. I painted the pink one a bit too much in here so I just layered them again with white. I added the shadows using purple gray close to the neck of the swan on the front as well as the water surface. Again, I didn't get to paint their reflections on the water. I just honestly noticed them when I was editing the video but it's okay. I'm removing the washi tapes already and this time I'm able to paint the wisteria flowers on the top right side. My idea is to paint them that overlaps the frame of the main painting and I also extended the branch of leaves all the way to the edge of the page. Even if it's just a small painting of wisteria, I still struggled with it trying not to make it look like red grapes. <laughs> Now I'm not really sure about having this element, I was thinking what if I painted it on the cover page like this, but I think it's also because of the smaller scale that made it hard for me to paint compared to the cover, but again it's okay even if I'm not happy with how it looked in this painting. Anyway, we have to move on again to the next spread and that will be my weekly layout. We're back with creating Dutch doors for my weeklies and I'm cutting these pages horizontally. I have an idea of painting the whole background but I felt like it will require a lot of paint for it so I thought of printing a solid pastel green color on this watercolor paper as my background. I was confident I can paint gouache over it so I just tried it out. I used the same 200 GSM watercolor paper and pre-cut them into A5 size that I glued on both sides of the spread. We have of course our weekly Dutch door pages in between. I cut out some white dot grid pages and glued them on the top of the background to complete all 4 weeklies since I only cut out 3 pages because I was being careful with the binding and the page connected to the ones I'm cutting not to fall off in case. 
I also made some margins on both sides so I cut them out as well. Then I glued these thin strips of peach paper as the background for the days and dates. I made the weekly boxes very easy by just drawing simple lines to divide them. Now let's paint our last illustration here and these are wisteria flowers above the weekly layout. I started with the stems using a bright green. It was much easier for me to paint them since the petals were quite bigger this time. I painted the first layer of petals with darker shades of purple and pink and you will want to have more petals on the top part just almost like a cluster of grapes and you would want to paint them in bigger and smaller sizes as well. After that will be the lighter shades of these colors by adding more white to the mix and just painted them on the darker ones but not totally covering them so they look like shadows and gives the whole look a bit of depth. Likewise, I'm doing this with tapping motions using a small brush. This way, I think it's more simplified and easy to approach. I'm only showing you how I painted this left side of the spread because I actually just mirrored this part. Now I'm going to paint shadowed versions of these flowers using purple gray, just offsetting them to the vibrant ones so it will look like there are a bunch of wisteria flowers in here. Lastly, I'm painting some leaves in between the flowers and these gave more life to the whole illustration. But once I'm done with the painting, I still added the week's title here on the left, a mini calendar to the right side, and some scribble washi tapes. I also wrote a lyric from one of my favorite worship songs called Leave Me Astounded by Planet Shakers below. This is also because God leaves me amazed each day as I learn more about him through reading the scripture and revealing something to me. For example, his name Yahweh or spelled as Y-H-W-H when pronounced is the sound of breathing. A naturally voiced inhalation sounds like and a voice exhalation sounds like So with every breath we take, consciously and unconsciously, we are speaking God's name every minute of our lives and that alone should amaze us humans. Alright, let's proceed to one last spread to set up for May. I glued a couple of colored papers here that cover the whole spread. Since I included a song lyric earlier, I thought of doing a playlist page on the left side. I haven't done this in a while too, so I got inspired for this one. I found these rectangular sticky notes that match the color scheme. I placed 8 of them in 2 columns and I'm using these washi tapes to create the album covers and wrote the songs accordingly. Then on the page to the right will be my month in review. Having this space to reflect by the end of the month has been working for me so far again. So I cut out some more white dotted paper, one in this rectangular shape and two in squares, as well as the peach strips on top where I'll write open-ended questions such as grateful for, small wins, and biggest lessons. Then I'm adding these drop shadows using the muted green highlighter. I decorated the corners as well with this scribble washi tape, a lavender washi sticker that I placed beside the playlist title, round stickers, and another inspiring bible verse saying, 
Therefore, encourage one another and build each other as in fact you are doing. But that's everything in my May 2023 bullet journal setup. I hope you enjoyed this dreamy swan lake or pond theme with mysterious and purple flowers. If you do, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already for more plan with me videos. And let me know in the comments which spread was your favorite or got inspired by. I hope this gave some ideas for your own May setup as well or for future monthly pages. Have a lovely month of May and I'll talk to you soon in my next one.